While the city mourns those killed in Monday's horrific car attack, another vigil in Toronto tonight. Members of the Tamil community gathered in Scarborough today to honour some of the alleged victims of accused serial killer Bruce MacArthur. Two of the eight murdered victims were Sri Lankan refugees. The most recently announced victim, Kirushna Kumar Kanagaratnam, arrived in Canada seven years ago on the MV Sun Sea, fleeing Sri Lanka after his younger brother was murdered on the family's front lawn. In an open letter to the Prime Minister read out during tonight's vigil, the parents of Kanagaratnam directly link their son's death to his failed refugee claim. They say they never reported him missing because they thought he might be hiding from immigration officials. His claim for refugee status, irrespective of how compelling his reasons with evidences were, was rejected by the Canadian immigration. Our son, fearful of his impending deportation, became distraught and depressed. He did not have much money and had no medical support, and his calls became less frequent since. Our last conversation with him was in August 2015. We believe that our son would have been alive now had your government accepted his claim for refugee status. We want answers from the Canadian government as to where and how our son was killed. In the letter, Kanagaratnam's parents go on to explain they were relying heavily on their son for financial support and they remain in deep poverty after his death. They want officials to return his remains to Sri Lanka or arrange for his family to fly to Canada to give him a proper burial. Meanwhile, the Canadian Tamil Congress, who helped organize tonight's event, is calling on the government to make changes to ensure more efficient timelines for refugee claims. They were refugee claimants for a number of years, and uh, that is not acceptable in this country. For seven, eight years, somebody comes into this country, file their claim, and you know, and and stay in that status for that many years. It's not acceptable. So government has to change its policies and do something and make sure in future an incident or an incidents like this will not happen. Now, police believe Kanagaratnam was killed in 2015, but there's no record of him being reported as missing. It's unclear if or how he knew Bruce MacArthur. His remains were among those found inside planters seized from the backyard of a Leaside home where MacArthur worked as a landscaper.